Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Calm, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the Jim and the Reich. So, as you can tell, I finally took out the Soviet Union. God, it took frickin' forever. I got, obviously, very annoyed at it at the end of the last episode. But it's here, but I didn't do something special yet. I was waiting to share this with you. But we have a decision here uh, that we can take that makes us even more special. But first, I want to show you this. Uh, let's see. Right now, we have renamed what was known as Leningrad as Ludendorff, as well as what was known as Stalingrad as Hindenburg. Very, very cool. So, the thing I want to show you is that right now, we're known as the German Reich. But in a few seconds, we will be proclaimed as the Greater German Reich. So, our enemies have been brought low before us, even though this is actually a picture of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, that's probably not the correct quite the right picture yet. Now is the time to make the world understand the greatness of our nation and begin the transformation of our capital into something all can look to pride with. And... There we go. Oh, get a darker... darker gray. It's almost like a... not even really black, but it's just like... almost completely black. Greater... German Reich... Good job, uh... Adolf. I, I don't want to say... I didn't want to say Adolf, but whatever. Uh, this is actually really cool. But, let's see. Also, someone said I should have annexed Vichy France. Well, this decision is currently not available. And a country, original country is free France. Current ruling party is fascist. Is a subject of the German Reich, not Case Anton. Does not control any of that. Any country, original country is France. Um, when selected, annex Vichy France in seven days and seizes the French fleet. Well, actually, the French fleet no longer exists because it was already taken out by the English. Or the British, at, before we took them out. But... Here's the deal. We can still annex them using managed subjects. We can just build stuff up in their territory and eventually just annex them, so that's not really too much of a problem. Also, I will be doing something in this episode that I've not done before, but I know works because I just tried it before this episode started. But in this episode, we are gearing up for a map. We're still gearing up for a massive naval invasion of the Americas as we try to repair a lot of things, build a lot of things, as well as try to fulfill our destiny using Plan Z. So we got enough to light cruisers and destroyers. Now we need a lot of heavy cruisers. Carriers we're working on. We're working on a lot of battleships and we also need battle cruisers. And actually, right now, I'm going to go ahead and switch one of these destroyers that we are currently making. Uh, where's a destroyer? Oh, actually, this cruiser hull I just switched over. Uh, how many cruiser hulls are we making? We're making one, two, two cruiser hulls, three cruiser hulls, four, four, uh, four cruiser hulls might be a bit much. Since we need so many heavy cruisers, let's go ahead and make you into a 1940 cruiser hull A. Now, this obviously is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Uh, this is the heavy cruiser that I kind of created that, you know, we're going to use. And I also added some dual-purpose secondary guns, which is just, in my opinion, very, very good. That you should put on all your ships instead of uh, light cannons. So we're going to make these instead. Yeah, go ahead and switch that over. And they'll come to Schleswig-Holstein since we need them anyways. We've got a lot of repairs going on, which is fine with me. And right now, this is a really weird black. It's kind of cool. I really like it. Uh, obviously, we've taken out, I've taken out Yemen. We are, in this episode, going to focus very heavily on finishing off, or getting further into Africa, I should say. We're not going to finish them off, obviously. But something that did surprise me was... The our allies actually have been pushing very well in Western Africa, so that's actually really good. And I will take out whoever is not part of our faction, minus Japan. Turkey, you are taking quite a while to do anything, but maybe we can actually stage a coup. Mm, staging a coup will take half of political power daily until it reaches 200 total. Um, if anywhere, can, we can't. Can we stage it in Istanbul? I want to do Istanbul since we can get right there. Ah, uh, well. Trapezon. I'm not really sure. I mean, I could just go. To oh, I have a non aggression pact with them. Ah, uh, we need 100% of our divisions along a common border. We currently have zero. That's alright. Um, I do want to go to war with Iran as well. Just finish up all these areas. Afghanistan, probably too. I don't think I signed the anti Soviet pact with them, so. Uh, da da da. No, 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 no. Nope. Did not do that, and let me see, did I forget to put, set a timer for this video? Yes, I did. Cool, great. 
Hope I don't hopefully I don't overgo my time. Nice. Very good. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Our allies are doing a great job in Africa. We do need to take out Portugal, so. And I have rearranged my armies just a tad bit. Just a tad. And I have sent my tanks down to Africa. Probably not a great idea. But uh we'll see what we can do. We'll definitely see what we can do. Uh Okay. Yeah, totally come down here. And also, we gotta really, 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 really start thinking about taking out the rest of the American Navy. Let's see how big they actually are. Um, Actually, that's not huge. Less than 100 ships, that's really good. Canada has a, a 40. I will invade Iceland, Greenland up here in this episode. So we got a lot of things going on. So. Also, the Japanese did invade, of course, Africa. Uh, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember now. What was I going to say? Uh, I do want to invade there. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put some planes. Maybe some more planes down here. Uh, let's see, that's not ours. You guys, I will need... Oh, God, there's so many crappy planes down here. Uh, you guys, go ahead and split that up. Take this. Attack whatever you can. Uh, you're heavy fighters, so, yeah. You can't... You really don't have that much range here. Oh, I should have put you over here. That actually would have been better. And can they go ahead? Cool. Oh, here's what I wanted to ask you guys. How should I divide up Russia? Because currently, I have liberated Reichskommissariat uh, Oslin, as well as Reichskommissariat Ukraine. Now, should I just keep the rest of the territory under my control, like this, so I can reap the benefits of the resources, or should I liberate other countries from... Or puppets. Puppets, not countries. Puppets. That I have taken. For example, let's see. Uh, Republic of Armenia, Azerbaijan. I wish I could form, like, the Caucasus region, like in Kaiserreich. That'd be really awesome. The Caucasus region, that'd be super cool. Uh, I remember... Okay, so I was playing Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron game, back when I was in high school. I played that religiously. It was my favorite game, probably in high school, to play. But you could, like, form Rex Commissariat at Moscow... And the Rex Commissariat the Caucus and just stuff like that. It's just so much fun. I just love that game to death. But uh, I wish we had more stuff here. So we could, you know, liberate Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kanatuva, Republic of Georgia. What countries would you like to see me liberate, if any? Also, I do have my soldiers over here. And we are planning for the invasion of Mongolia. Because I frankly don't want the Mongolians alive. Because they were fighting against us the entire time. So, we're going to put them out of their misery. Actually, I might liberate Mongolia under me, though. We'll see what happens. Also, you'll see in this episode what I do to try to um, do to finish up off a lot of our focuses that I've not touched or were locked out of earlier. If you can go, go ahead when you can. Oh, Excavation 5. Delightful. Let's see, it's 1944. And let's get some better naval bombers. That sounds like a great, great idea. Heavy ships, carriers, holes. I just added better radars to these guys. Oh, uh, we're going to need carrier planes and stuff, too. You guys are all repairing. That's fine. Do we have something here? No? Cool. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything here? Upgrades. Heavy cruiser hull. Um, no? Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and obviously, I'm not trying to attack, because attacking this situation here it would be very pitiful. Sunk two enemy destroyers, and I'm just kind of waiting for more allied ships to get to where we need them. Because currently, German Lodic's task force... Can you... There is no one you can upgrade to, huh? Go ahead and repair. Like, I don't really care if they repair now, it's fine. Go ahead and repair as well. Uh, let's see, this is our... Go ahead, everyone, just go ahead and train. I need as much XP as possible. These are different groups of of ships that make up my patrol fleet that obviously I need to expand. Uh, please. Is everyone on the way to repair? Um, you're repairing. I guess everyone's refitting or repairing, so I already told them to do that. Go ahead and do that. Let's see. How is our major fleet? So we have a lot of ships refitting, which is fine with me. I don't really care. This battleship can be upgraded, but it'll take over 800 days, which is just not worth it. Uh, how about the destroyers, though? Nope. No, that's fine. Actually, since you guys are here, we already have four battleships. 
seven light cruisers and 26 destroyers. I really don't want to send them in to the Gulf of, Gulf of Aden, or I guess the Red Sea, I guess is called that, uh, until we have a carrier or another battleship. But we do have air superiority, and it doesn't look like they have a lot of ships around here. I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and send them away. Send them to the ranch. No. Send them to... Patrol? Here. Do they have any other jobs? There, there we go. And I want you to rebase there. Moving to Alexandria, they'll rebase there and then do their job at the Red Sea. As we continue to blow up a lot of British ships. Great. I'm really just waiting for Western Africa to fall. How are the tanks? They are taking some attrition. So be it. Let's see, where are we? If you can move in, that would be great. I don't know if you can or not, but that would be great regardless. Oh, what is that? I've not seen that modifier. Exiled veterans. Combat bonuses against three of enemy three divisions. Huh. Well, as long as we win, I don't really care. Uh, we will need some more naval bombers down here, actually. We've got quite a few close air support planes. Awesome. Go and put 400 bombers here. Put them close to the uh, C zone. And I think they already have their orders. Here, we'll do the same thing. Just a massive number of planes everywhere. Oh, and Mongolia's gone. Great. I'm just going to go ahead and annex them. Please let me know if you want me to liberate or <coughs> puppet Mongolia, if you would like to see me to do that. I don't mind liberating them, since they could be useful against a potential fight against the Japanese and their Chinese allies. Hull Destroyer, nice. Japan is just, honestly, a little terrifying. I'm not sure... You know, Japan has always kind of been a mixed bag, in my opinion. You never know if they're going to go ham against everyone, or they're just going to shrivel up and die, especially against the Chinese in the early, in the early game. Makes no sense. But, well, regardless... Let's go ahead and put some divisions against... Uh, why did I do that twice? What the heck? Uh, go ahead and do that. Do that. Also, I will begin to remove more... Infantry battalions from my infantry divisions and replace them with artillery. That's my goal. Eventually replace all that with artillery. Uh, yeah, go and do that. Did I give you an order? Maybe not. Cool. And, you know what, just in case. I don't know how many divisions the Turks have, but we'll do that. I really hope hope that we can pull up some fascist or something, you know. Tanks are doing alright. Oh, better field hospitals. Alright then. I think logistic companies probably are a little bit better right now, since, but it's not 1945 yet. Armor, no bonus. Hmm. Artillery, we're done with that. Land auction we're done with. Naval stuff, it is 1944. We don't want to make old, outdated heavy ships. Oh, but we can get better upgrades for all of our ships anyways. Hmm. Depth charges. Well, let's see. I want more heavy cruisers. And we are making regular cruisers. And we will need some more carriers, but I think we'll be okay on carriers. Subs, we've kind of been neglecting. Let's get some cruiser holes. Do that first. Just because... I'm going to need to make a lot of cruisers, so we might as well start making them now. Awesome! We actually landed here. Go freaking figure. Great job, guys. And I did try to land in the ports. Ah, oh, okay, you couldn't land there because the Japanese said hello. Go ahead and just, you know, come over here. Great. And, oh, we are bombing some things here. Nice, some Mexican convoys. All right, not bad. Expanded a little bit. Hold on to Djibouti. Uh, actually, take the airbase so they can't use it. They canceled lend lease. Supplies. Oh, hello! Oh, we have a much better deficit. Whoa! What? They joined the great. Uh, uh, no! Uh, you just asked me! No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously. I. You just asked me and, like, Two hours, you're like, nope, I'm going to help the Japanese. What the garbage? The Turkish Empire, why? Why? You even sent volu- Wait. Yeah, you even sent volunteers to the Allies to fight me. God. And 
the Japanese. Oh my god, what the heck? What is this timeline? Oh my goodness. Alright, so our ship should be down here. Good. Good, good, good. Go ahead, patrol. Oh, did we get one of their ships back? It looks like we got another light cruiser back. Because right now, this other heavy cruiser is refitting. That should be pretty good. Uh, have we encountered somebody here? Or... Oh! Nine destroyers! Great! Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, what are we currently producing? We're producing some air bases all around Vichy territory. Building a lot of military factories because this focus will remove military factories and exchange them with more naval dockyards. So that's actually pretty good to keep an eye on that. But I can't wait till that focus is done because i got another plan for everyone that they may not really expect. Are we moving in or... Yeah, we are moving in. It's just a slow slog into there. Uh, why... Why did they join the Japanese? Why, God, oh why... Fuck Wolf, very good. And let's get down to tactical bombers. Hmm, better tactical bombers sound pretty good. Engineering. Uh, let's get some nuclear bomb stuff going. So we can actually produce some of those and use those against the United States when we get there. I just better promote it. Actually, let's go ahead and improve the infrastructure since we'll be fighting here quite often, actually. Uh, supplies. We have a crap ton of tungsten that I don't need to be trading away to a worthless country called Portugal. We have Junkers. Heavy fighters, awesome. Great stuff. Uh, let's get the next fighter so we can get the next carrier fighters when we are actually when we actually have carrier fighters. Good, good, good. And carriers, yeah, heavy ships, yeah. Yeah, keeping an eye on all those. And heavy fighters. Let's make the best heavy fighters known to man. Ah. Very nice. Better reliability. Very reliable planes. Well, if I do this, that'll make them less reliable. Same. Oh, not the same thing. Better engine, more agility, more range, and max speed. Sign me up for the German Air Force or the Luftwaffe. Awesome. Actually, you know what? Since we got time here, we don't really need to produce as much. Let's go ahead and upgrade a lot of things. Because why not? I never set that to high, but I'll see what happens. Nice. 12 more British destroyers sunk. Great job, guys. And I know I did see some people, some other entities in that naval battle that were from the Turk, Turkish fleet as well as the Japanese fleet. Doing a great job bombing the hell out of people. Uh, sure, I'll take some support equipment. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. God dang it, I wish I could advance. I'm kind of just waiting for our Italian allies to actually move around the cabin here. And they did, but we... How, what? How'd you... I had that. Japan. Japan, you're not going to get any of this. All you're going to get is Asia. That's literally all you're going to get. As well as Oceania. Africa is mine, Japan. Maybe I'll give you... Maybe... Ethiopia... No, not even Ethiopia. Maybe you'll get Somalia land. Maybe. That's all that you deserve. Alright, let's see. I can get Porto. Very good. They're going to join the Allies anyways when we attack. Not really a big concern of mine, but before we actually go to war, what are the plane situations like? Let's add some more planes to these guys, because they're really, really lacking. Uh, 200 of you. Not... Oh, wow. Yeah, I've really neglected these guys. Uh, 200 of you. Oh. Let's put them on here. And then over here, we will add... Do we have any tactical bombers? Fighters? Close air support? Eh, I know this is not even my own planes, but we'll do that. And, you know, do that too. Put you over here. Naval bombers, heavy fighters. Add in 400 more tactical bombers. And then once these guys are ready to get, to go, uh, we'll go and launch the war. So, And then we'll go to war with probably Iceland next. If I can move my soldiers out of here, and the Italians can hold this area, that'll be fine with me. No, stop. Stop the entry of the Japanese through here. That's not a good idea for them to be here. Oh, and we have encountered some resistance by Jose Gonzalo Escobar. Oh, right. So we got crossing the Atlantic. And now we got a lot more factories. So we lost probably 66 
uh, military factories, at least. Because you remove two military factories from inland states for each coastal state that receives these dockyards. So we had a total of like 36 or something, 36, maybe 40 coastal provinces that received um, dockyards instead of military factories. So that actually kind of hurts. Ooh. And that's why I was building up so many military factories. Cool. All right, so here's the next thing. Here is the next thing that I want to get to. So you'll see currently that uh, we've been bombing a lot, but that's not what I want to say. No, you'll see that we are a pretty formidable Reich. Now, I'm going to do something that might be a little controversial controversial in the comments. National Union Peace, cool. I need that tool, but we're going to liberate Poland. What? What? Liberate Poland? No. No. The Untermensch should be put away. No, here's what I'll do. They're going to be my puppet. Uh, liberation of Warsaw, which makes no sense. The devastated city of Warsaw has fallen to advancing Soviet armies, which is false. After the last German defenders retreated, that's false. Uh, it's not under Soviet control. I mean, for heaven's sake, they're fascists, and that's their flag. They're my puppet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Danziger War. So I get the core on Danzig. I lose a claim on Poznan and Katowice. Can Danziger War. That's fine. It passes immediately. We do around the Magonaut, which, of course, already is cleared. We'll do war with France, which is already cleared, but then I'm going to reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace-Lorraine so I can get cores on them. And we can change Alsace-Lorraine to Elsass-Lothringen. And Strasbourg becomes Strasbourg, and Mulhaus is renamed to Mulhausen. That's what I want to do. And since we have the state transfer tool mod, and I would not allow Poland to be really too alive if I was doing this, so I'm going to actually do this and this. And immediately transfer those back to me. Now, I don't mind Poland being a <clears throat> rump state, I guess you could say. Of course, I wish it was, this was a Reichskommissariat instead of anything else. And actually, you know what? I Since that's part of my country, I'm going to transfer that immediately over here. It's only a colony state. How is that a colony state? Mm, you know what? Screw it, we'll do that. Just for funsies. Uh, Lublin. Yeah, cool. So basically, this is going to look... It's going to be like a rump state from Kaiserreich, even though they might not have Krakow. I think they might. I can't remember. Whatever. So Poland's here for now. Eventually, I will build them up so I can annex them again. But just think of it as a general government, of course, or Reichskommissariat for the Poles at the moment. And since we have... Oh my god, look at all those things we got. Oh man, how did that hurt our military factories? Oh, it didn't really hurt that bad. Cool. Oh, we're out of aluminum. I wonder why. Seriously, I wonder why. What the heck? Aluminum. Hmm. That's not good. Anyway, so we have a lot more things here. I need more heavy cruisers, of course. Battleships will be fine. But battle cruisers are going to be important as well. We've got 21 naval XP. Yeah, there's really not much I can do. So just build another heavy cruiser, which, honestly, I really don't care for that many heavy cruisers. But, oh, regardless, or whatever. Oh, my God. How many dockyards do we have? We have uh, naval dockyards in use. 195 out of 214. Jesus. I destroyed the military. Oh, I didn't destroy it, but I severely hampered military factories in exchange for naval dockyards. My goodness. Just go ahead and go to um, Schleswig-Holstein, and I'm going to build, actually, another one at the same time. Go to Schleswig-Holstein. So that should be good. Don't really need subs yet. Uh, I'll make the battle cruisers probably when I get 19. Uh, I don't know, 1944 stuff. Hmm. I could just start making some now. I'm not gonna make that many. Let's, go, let's duplicate this. Uh, I'll, heavy ship. We'll see. Battle cruiser. Because to make it a battle cruiser, you just change the armor. So let's make it faster. You get 20 less organization. You you lose as much you lose you use less supply, you get l way less armor, which is really not worth it in my opinion. Less surface detection, but more, but better surface visibility, by barely any. It's honestly not worth making this into a battle cruiser, but whatever. Also, I did have upgraded cannons here, so I have level three cannon here, and then I have level two cannon here. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. So we have battle cruisers, so that's good to keep an eye on that. Go ahead and start making just one of those. I only need three, so whatever. 
We want to get through these battle uh, heavy cruisers as fast as possible. 36 heavy ship hull F, hull B, 1940s. Here we are. Cruiser, do another one. God dang it, we still have so many left. Uh, carrier. This is the carrier I currently have. God dang, just make another carrier then. That's fine with me. So be it. Oh, do we have something here? Oh, convoy sunk. Awesome. We're doing well in Africa. Love it. American convoys are sinking in the water. I'm not sure where they would sink else to. And oh my gosh, another dockyard. Seriously. Three dockyards for producing more ships. Um, Anyone have upgrades? Like seriously, I don't. I really don't mind you guys upgrading right now. Cool, yeah, go and do that. Upgrades? Yeah, cool. Go ahead. Upgrades? Uh, that's heavy cruisers. I don't want to do that. No. For you guys. You guys are actually... Do you have anything? No, you do not. Actually, that's early destroyers. Actually, can early destroyers be upgraded? Early destroyer hold B. We have nothing better yet. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's really nothing. I even put a battery on here. The dual purpose main battery is really good. Oh, God. No, oh, no, don't tell me I'm out of things to help out here. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want the best of the best. Cruiser hull Fs. Awesome. And someone is justifying on me. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, We've got plenty of pretty much everything, really. You know what? Make another cruiser. Or carrier, I mean. Awesome. Who is justifying on us? Oh, pfft, the United States. You know, guys, we're already at war. Why do you have to justify against me, man? You want to feel really good about yourselves to justify? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Right now, if we abandon Harar, we could get navally invaded. But I really need my Marines, and the Italians might show up here. So go ahead. Come out of here. Come over here. Come back into the land area here. And we're literally just defending this area. Because I'm going to send my Marines up north to attack Iceland next. That's our next goal. Uh, it's more and more American convoys sinking. My tanks got surrounded. Oh boy. What's going on here? One tank trying to fight seven divisions. Oh, you guys are... I guess... Interesting. Uh, can we go to war with Portugal yet? I forget. Oh yeah, we can. We can go to war. What was, I, what was I thinking? I was thinking so heavily about those ships. Look at all these allies in the water. I hope they don't die there. And good. You guys made it. I need you to come all the way up here now. Come to... Oh, uh, where's a good place to invade from? Here. There you go. Awesome. More good stuff going on. Go ahead and go to war with Porto. Great. Go ahead, guys. Four full armies of 24 infantry divisions each. They join the Allies. No one cares. Artillery. We have 13.3 thousand. Let's see. Who is currently not being used? How are you guys? Do you have artillery on your thing? No, you don't. Cool. Now you do. Which instantly reduced their experience. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? I had 250 naval bombers survive from an while well, attacking 10 light cruisers and 21 destroyers. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I didn't put any any of my guys here in the water, at least. Another four American destroyers and another light cruiser. Jesus, what the heck? Oh, they got 30 Portuguese destroyers there. Oh. Oh, oh, uh-oh. 29 are left. Great. Great, 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 great. Convoys, convoys. Convoys. And there goes Portugal, which means we can also invade uh, Portuguese held Africa. Very awesome. Portuguese destroyer, Portuguese destroyer. I just researched something, but I was clicking enter too fast. Another Portuguese destroyer, an American convoy. Great stuff. Let's get cruiser holes next. Awesome. My Marines are not up there yet, but I didn't think they would be. Awesome. Coasts. I need you to... Oh, the Spanish took this out. You know what? I don't mind giving this 
to Spain, if that'll help them. Give them maybe a couple more factories and stuff. I mean, we can have a new Iberian Union. That'd be kind of cool. Awesome, this coffee's getting a little cold. But that's okay. Yeah, we abandoned this. No one has taken it. Oh, the Italians have been moving around. Kevin, that's not bad. If you guys can, go ahead, but don't be crazy. Uh, give them some extra supplies. Was that worth it? Extra supply grace? But no, that's not really worth it. Uh, go ahead. Yep, they look like you're, you're kind of winning up here at least. That's kind of good. Awesome convoys, convoys. I will end the episode soon because I am keeping an eye on everything. Nice. The subs are gone. And there's no more presence of anyone but Axis, or I guess technically Japanese, held European territory. Great stuff. Super, super great. Alright, so I don't think there's any more ships here. So let's go ahead tell you guys to not do that. I want you all to come back to Wilhelmshaven. God, we have no capital ships here yet. God dang it. Cool. Oh, cool. That's from uh, Rex Commissariat Oslin. Great. Very great. We have exactly 1,000 factories. My goodness. Um, I d I'll focus more on the SS in the next video. Let's see. Anything else? Develop more oil? Sure. Oh, wow. We're almost, we're almost maxed out of oil. Go ahead and say no to everyone else, which will hurt our oil supplies probably. Uh, decisions. Can we make any good decisions here? Well, let's do that. Improve worker conditions for more stability. Uh, negate the stability increase with more factories and then do that because Croatia already has over 90% support for fascism nothing like it oh my goodness let's see convoy 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 good 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 yeah there's no enemy ships it looks like anymore how are, how's this going how are my tanks are you doing all right are you becoming like a jungle rat or something what do they call them no you're not a jungle rat yet all right, so be it, so be it. Oh, yeah, we need more support equipment. Uh, I do want to take out Iran. Let's go and do that. 25 days, and then, since this is going to get wild, to get all of our Marines up here. That's good, that's good. We got some pretty good uh, naval XP. I love it. We have a massive naval production. Just, just a lot of naval production going on. And that's how you want to be. In 1944, you want to make nothing but ships. What the ships? There you go. Oh, we got even more dockyards. Jesus. Um, you know what? I'm going to make more convoys at the moment just because I am waiting for the next set of heavy cruisers or, you know, cruisers to come on out. Oh, we have, oh that was naval bombers that we researched. Cool. Ooh, a lot of these heavy ships are almost done, finally. Naval bomber threes, thank you very much. Come again. Our ships are over here. Great. What are you doing? You're a regular destroyer. You are... You have a heavy cruiser. Yeah, the heavy cruiser came back. Great. And its design actually isn't too bad, even though this armor could be better and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. And there goes my phone. Ringing and ringing and ringing. Uh, let's see. You know what? Put you guys back on these. You could probably use these. Destroyers, that's fine. That's good. Keep an eye on that. Anything else? I want to finish a justification for Iran before we're done. The next episode, of course, we will focus more on taking out the rest of Africa. Oh, we actually made a small little encirclement. Awesome. Finish off Africa in the next episode. We will also invade Iceland, Iran, and things like that. That will be our goal. Wow, we got a lot of convoys being made. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Um, uh, what, what about this? I already upgraded you. I don't want you to be too slow. You already have 22 speed. I don't want to put any more heavy cannons on you. So go ahead and do another one of these then. Just Oh, I guess we'll, oh, god dang it. Well, I guess we'll make four of them. Why not? Screw it. Just Holstein. Holstein. Schleswig Holstein, and then another. I don't really don't care about the time at the moment anymore. Schleswig Holstein. How? Do, oh my gosh! Does anyone else need upgrades? Seriously, I am totally fine if you all need upgrades. Uh, screw it. That takes over two years. Whatever. 
Actually, that, that takes 50 days? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Um, yeah, you really shouldn't use that. You already have this. Let's remove that with a secondary battery. Um, let's see. Anti-air. A lot of anti-air for this. Wait, can we... Actually, this is only a heavy thing. Secondary battery. Huh. That's okay, I suppose. More anti-air. You do have a heavy cannon here. Heavy battery 2. Let's get heavy battery 3. A better cruiser engine. Dual purpose guns. And... Cruiser armor 3. And that's as much as we can do for that. Awesome. Cool. And that'll take over 400 days. Whatever. I'm fine with that. Uh, cruiser. Oh, that's already pretty much upgraded to max. Awesome. Oh, uh, god dang it. Oh my gosh, we got so many things we're making now. Uh, just make another heavy cruiser then. God dang it. Okay, so we have... That's good, okay. Oh, baby. There's just so many naval dockyards now. It's almost too many for me to keep track of everything. Almost too many nice Mexican convoys, Mexican convoys. I'm literally just waiting for the justification to finish, and then I'll end the episode. How many more days, man? I know our armies are pretty much ready. I don't have that much manpower. They have no ships. We got a few divisions. Five more days, and then we'll call it an episode. Cause boy, it's getting laggy. Um, gonna take these guys out. And we've almost linked up with the other side here. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, an American destroyer. Finally, an, an actual American ship. Seven American destroyers. Wow. Up oh, and there we go. Cool. Let's go ahead for next time to begin justifying on the Icelandic people. And then eventually we will take out Denmark following that. So, with that in mind, my guys, my girls, my guys, actually, I think all of you are guys, except for the two grandmas that watch my videos. Uh, thanks for watching anyways. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we invade Iran, finish off Africa, invade Iceland, Greenland, and begin a very serious bombing and air strategic run against America, the American Air Force as well as the Canadian and Mexican Air Forces. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.